Hey, what's going on, guys? Dilkster 930, and I decided to do a series of uh, tutorials um, on how to set up WordPress and I'll talk a little bit about WordPress and uh, get you guys all the way through registering a free domain and hosting, as well as um, setting up the WordPress and FTPing it up to the server. Um, so, if you want to create a website but you don't know anything about coding or anything about hosting, then this will be a very, uh, very nice, user-friendly, um, beginner-friendly tutorial for you. So, um, for starters, I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is my website, as I'm sure a lot of you know. And the actual website is powered by WordPress. And what WordPress is, is it's a uh, blogging platform, actually, uh, which was originally used for just bloggers, but has now been ported to where uh, it's at the point where you actually install the basic framework of the blogging platform to your your uh, web host and it's set up now where you can make it if you want it to keep blog like like mine as you can see it's still kind of got that bloggy look where I update the news uh, it shows the author and the post date which you can actually completely get rid of that now and you don't have to have the whole bloggy side of WordPress um, but there's a ton of um, themes that are actually built in already to it where you don't have to do any coding whatsoever. It's just choosing colors for things, uploading uh, pictures and things like that. So really similar to uh, if any of you ever had like a MySpace back when, uh, where not even MySpace, MySpace you still had to type in some coding. It's just very, uh, very noob friendly. Uh, don't have to know anything about web design. Um, and then the software that we're gonna be, or not software, excuse me, the host that we're actually gonna be using is a 000 web host. I was using them for a while, but because my website uh, kind of grew, they gave me some sort of, uh, they suspended me actually because I had too much traffic and it is a free web host and they don't want you, they want you to upgrade obviously, that's their goal. They give you a uh, free web host and if your site gets big enough, which it doesn't even let it get that big, um, you're going to have to upgrade. But for starting off, it's a perfect uh, a little thing to get yourself up and going and to just see how your website works out for you and to get a little bit of experience with uh, a WordPress and stuff like that. So 000 web host is what we are going to be using. Okay, so if you want a .com, you're going to have to pay for a .com. Uh, you can either purchase one, um, I believe, through this website, or maybe you can't purchase one through this website. Um, but you can purchase one from an external site and then import your domain name to use with the hosting on this website. Or there's another site, uh, if you type in just .tk, you can actually create a free domain name entering in dot or and ending in dot tk um, and that's actually what I used I, I recently got a dot com on here but uh, for a long time it was dot tk and if you go under my forums I believe it should still yeah it still shows dot tk so I uh, I like dot tk uh, better than oops better than what zero zero web host gives you because let's go ahead and uh, sign up I suppose um, so that's yeah if you have your own domain name you can enter it in right there or if you want a free domain name they'll give you one dot .com, I guess um, so let's just go ahead and go with uh, WordPress domain my name is Daniel email um, I wonder if it'll let me since I already have an account, let's try this one. Gmail, Gmail. So yeah, just go ahead and register through this stuff. <sighs> so you can get your free domain. Type the two words you see in the image. Okay. Is it T I G A I N S? All right. Sweet, so it did, and at this point, uh, you should have received an email, so go into your email, I'm going to do that quickly, uh, right here, just, you have to click on the uh, confirmation link, so just click on that, and it'll redirect you, and uh, as at this point, it is building your actual website, and shortly, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, in a, in a matter of a minute, it should uh, it should say completed or status, uh, Host, I don't know. When I refresh it, I'll show you guys. So let me go ahead and pause the video, and I'll start back up in about a minute. All right. So if all went well, you should see active as the current status. 
And then next, we're going to go ahead and go under our C panel. And you're going to scroll down until you see MySQL. Go ahead and click on that. And what MySQL is, uh, it says right here, actually, <laughs> um, there are databases which are required for many web applications and uh, bulletin boards, uh, WordPress being one of them. So you can create any import. We'll just call it, uh, <laughs> I'm not WordPress. Oh, it doesn't even let us. So we'll go with WordPress. Uh, random usernames. We'll go with just uh, user. And password for this. Let's go ahead and Daniel1. Oops. Daniel1. Daniel1. Come on. Alright. So it says it will be created in one minute. Use the details for your PHP scripts. Right on. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to control panel. And you need to open up a new tab or go under Google and type in WordPress. I actually have mine already, but I'll go ahead and go through with you WordPress. Okay, first link right here. Go ahead and click download WordPress, uh, WordPress 3.3. Once again, go ahead and download. And um, save it. I'm gonna go ahead and open mine with uh, WinRAR. And I'm gonna extract it uh, to my desktop so that it's nice and out there for the video tutorial. Now I got the WordPress folder right here, and you want to go and look for a file right here, WP config sample, and you want to rename it to just WP config, so get rid of the dash sample at the end. Alright, and then you want to open it, I can open it with Dreamweaver because I have Dreamweaver, but all you really got to do is open with Notepad. And um, now you're going to have to change some settings. Those are the settings that 000 web host actually gave us. So let me see if we go under, where was it? Uh, I don't see it anymore. So let's go under MySQL one more time. And right here we've got all of our information. So open up Notepad. It says database name here. So name is right here so just go ahead and go ahead and copy it head back over here paste it in username same thing password uh, which in my case was Daniel one the hosts this bad boy right here that's fine so you can leave both of those and then for security purposes uh, Go ahead and copy this link right here. Just control C, copy it. Go to your browser and paste it in the browser. Okay, that did not work. Oh, get rid of service in the end. No? Huh, let me see, WordPress. There we go. Okay, so I added a bunch of extra stuff. So it starts at HTTP and ends at salt dash. So you only have to copy up until right here. I added extra stuff. Sorry about that. 
And then you're just going to go ahead and highlight all this and copy it. Head back over here and highlight over all this junk and control V, paste it in. And that should be it for now. So go ahead and file save. Go ahead and exit out. Next step is going to actually be uh, uploading all the stuff to our um, web host server. Alright guys, so next thing you're going to need, you're going to need to FTP your files to the server. And if you don't know what that is, uh, it's pretty much just really uploading uh, the files from your desktop to the actual host server so that they're viewable um, when you type in your domain name it'll show the files that are hosted so uh, there's a number of different FTP clients but in this case um, in a very simple and good one I think is going to be called FileZilla from Mozilla so let's go ahead and download uh, either of the two I don't think it matters um, I think I usually do that one and go ahead and just install it. I should already have mine installed. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have mine installed right here. So when you're done, you're going to go ahead and open it up. And then you're going to have to type in this information up here. And to get that information, you're going to go under your web host. And you're going to go under um, C panel. Go back. I think this is actually all the information I'm going to need right here. Let me uh, give it a shot. So, host is going to be the domain. Um, just paste it in. Username right here password I cannot even start on the password I used when I created this which is pretty bad and then port I think you can just leave that blank in this case let's try it out and sure enough it connected you should see um, this little uh, I guess you could say um, what would you call it this is just pretty much letting you know what's going on. I, I can't think of the name right now. And what you want to see is direct uh, directory listing successful. And this is all of your uh, stuff right here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these files. Not the public HTML one. Well, I guess I won't let me delete it. Does it look like? Okay, but public HTML, double click on that one. And uh, all of your actual files that you want to show on your website are going to go inside of this folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on your desktop and open this WordPress folder and highlight all of it and just go ahead and drop it on in here and let it work its magic. It's going to take quite some time because there's a lot of files um, and once it's done I will go ahead and we will continue from there. Alright guys, so now that the files have finished uploading, um, you need to either type in your domain name, or which is simpler in my case, if you have this window open, just click on it, and it should take you to your website, and now as you can see, WordPress is uploaded, and you have to go through the installation process, so uh, we'll just name this site title word, uh, WordPress tutorial. Username, we'll leave it at that. Password, Daniel1. Daniel1. Yeah. Email. Gmail.com. Uh, Alright, install WordPress. So easy as that. Log in. And all you gotta do now is log in with your username, which my name is admin, and password is Daniel. Uh, one. And you have successfully installed WordPress, and uh, now it's just a matter of tweaking it, um, applying themes, and 
uh, plugins and stuff like that, depending on what your needs are for your website, which I will be covering in separate tutorials. Um, but now that you have installed it, if you go to your actual website, there you go. There is your current website with its default uh, default theme that it comes with. So, um, like I said, now it's just a matter of typing in things where you need and adding on little customizations. So uh, I'll be taking care of that uh, in my next tutorial, guys. So uh, this is Dope Turner 930. Hopefully this was very helpful and simple to do. Uh, I know that when I installed WordPress, there was some videos, but a lot of them weren't that clear to me, and it took me a little bit longer. So hopefully if you follow this, um, you won't have any complications, and WordPress will be up and running for you in no time at all. So if, uh, if this video was helpful, please uh, go ahead and like and subscribe, and... I will have more videos uh, coming up shortly, so um, stay tuned guys, Dope Turner 930, and I am out, peace.